I put together my miter saw, which is right here. I don't know if you're very familiar with miter saws or not, but a miter saw is a way to, uh, it's primarily a way to cut uh, small things that need exact cuts. So let's say, for example, you are doing um, molding. Like molding needs exact cuts and it needs different, you know, like angles cut. So there's not really something you could do with a, with a handsaw. You know, it would be something that needs more precise detail. So that's what a miter saw is. Mine is, of course, the smallest one you can get, which is seven and a quarter uh, inch. But what I'd like to have is like a 12 inch one. So just to give it in perspective, this seven and a quarter inch miter saw is good for about, you know, up to a, a two by four. You know how thick a two by four is? It's good for about that. Anything beyond that, um, you're really uh, risking if it's big enough. This miter saw right here, I bought five years ago. Yes, five years ago. It was on sale for $39.99. You'll never find one for that price now. I use one of these every now and then, but I can't pass that up, you know. So I went and uh, got it. I got from Lowe's. Then I put it in my shed. And then right after that, I went on a long trip. I think I went, I was gone for like two or three months. And so then when I came back, I was like, I kind of knew it was in the shed, but I was like, ah, it's, you know, it's winter time. I don't feel like you know, messing with it. And I just, you know, the years passed by. So I think, of, I think about, you know, all the time that has passed and all the things that is, have happened since I bought that miter saw. You know, that's, that's what I've been thinking about. Cause you know, my mother died four years ago, this September, it'll be five years ago. That's kind of like a pivotal moment. Like I remember things that happened either before she died or after she died. So, so anyway, it was around, it was in the same year. I don't remember the month I, I bought the miter saw, but this is gonna be my world, little workstation here um, while I put stuff together. The Homeowners Association sent out an email saying that a lot of us uh, needed to have our mailboxes painted, our mailbox posts painted so um this amazon truck i'm sure they'll stop by here <laughs> they stop by here all the time <laughs> so anyway uh yesterday me and, and my friend painted this post uh, look how good it looks um, it looked so bad i wish i had a before picture it looks so bad before but of course it looks really good now so, uh, yeah, so I already had that paint, you know, from, you know, from working in the camper. I was like, wow, I already got the paint here, you know? They just made it so much easier. So I painted that, and then the other thing they said that, you know, we needed to check, uh, what was it, the side of the house, like, was getting, like, that green stuff on it. And, and really, only the back of my house has that. So I'm gonna borrow my neighbor's power washer so nobody's gonna comment on here and tell me what the name of this is. Every year, I don't know, I say I don't know the name of this and somebody usually comments. Maybe nobody knows. So yesterday when I painted that post out there, I forgot to bring the camera out there. It would have been fun to show you me, you know, to show you the before and after. It would have been really fun, but I just, I just clean forgot. I was like in such a hurry because my friend, I have a friend of mine comes over once a week and we hang out and watch Netflix and stuff. So we had just gone to the trash dump. He mentioned something about the mailbox needs to be painted or something like that. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. So I was like in a rush to go do it, you know, before he changed his mind. <laughs> Cause I didn't want to do it by myself. Not that it's a lot of work, but it's just that it's just more fun when you have somebody else to do it with you. Yesterday I made this big lunch. Oh yeah, Amazon truck. Here, here's the Amazon truck. I told you. See, right here. I'm gonna bring some stuff to my, my door, you watch. Finishing what I was saying, I cooked this really big meal. Big chicken casserole, chicken and rice, and uh, macaroni and cheese. I should have recorded it, would have been good content but maybe I'll do that again at some point. But I gave most of it away. I have very little, I kept very little. You just witnessed one of my Amazon deliveries and I buy pretty much everything from Amazon these days. I mean, everything, I mean, I think I think I actually have some dishwashing liquid in that one. 
Now you're thinking, well, Mark, don't you, you know, you ordered it, shouldn't you know? Not really, because sometimes I order something and it, uh, it doesn't arrive till, you know, a long time later. <laughs> this was $2.38, right? And it would have cost me more than that at the grocery store. And I just saved myself a trip so I don't have to go to the grocery store. So yes, I bought Amazon off there, but um, you know, Amazon's coming out here anyway, every day. This neighborhood I live in, I think people sit around all day long and just order Amazon. Another thing I got is a shirt. And um, I'm having to rebuy some shirts because I need a size um, medium now instead of a large. So I'm having to get, re -get, some, uh, get some more shirts. And then the other thing I got, this is for, uh, this is actually for working in the camper. I got two of these uh, clamps. So they were like $5 a piece, weren't really that much, but so see the things I get from Amazon aren't necessarily just fun things. They're just things that, you know, I just would have gotten had I shopped locally. I don't really have to shop locally if Amazon's gonna, you know, if I can get it from Amazon for just about the same price. Um, I feel like I'm giving an advertisement to Amazon. I'm actually a little bit disappointed because I tried to join Amazon's um, influencer program and they declined me because I don't have enough followers on YouTube. Now I have a lot of followers on Facebook, but they wouldn't take my Facebook account because it's not a business account. And I am not about to transform my Facebook account into a business account. So they say, oh, you got to put another account, you know, Instagram or, you know, I think Instagram or TikTok or uh, YouTube. So I, I told them YouTube and uh, I don't have enough subscribers on YouTube yet. So if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe now. It would really help me out a lot. Then you can be alerted every time I'm on here and spend a few minutes with me. I am going to, in June, uh, go back to traveling. I'm gonna, well, actually, I'm gonna take a trip and I'll be gone a couple of months. I'm gonna go to either Colorado in the in the higher elevations where it's going to be cool because it's going to I'm going to go in June or I'm going to go um, further to like Montana or well Wyoming and then subsequently Montana depending I have to travel with the climate uh, this is the other thing I got um, just to give you an idea what this is these are little sockets that you put a light bulb in Okay, and it automatically turns the light bulb off when it's daylight. So that's what these are. Comes in a four pack. I only need two because I only have two outside lights and I'm gonna give the other two to my neighbor. Okay, and since I'm, I'm showing you my sins, since I'm showing my, my recent Amazon purchases, um, I have a couple of other things. This is a painting. This is the Brooklyn Bridge. A year ago, I went to New York. I won the, the NC State Lottery and I won a trip to New York City for a Times Square for New Year's Eve, right? So I went to New York City and um, actually took the boat out on the Hudson, actually went by this Brooklyn Bridge. This is a print on canvas. If you touch it, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it actually has, you know, the paint actually stands up. Like you can feel the paint right there with your fingers. I don't know how they manage that because it looks like a print to me, but yeah, isn't that beautiful? So, so that's that. And I have one other one I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I got this painting, this picture as well. This is just a picture, this is not a painting. But uh, isn't it beautiful? This is gonna go here in my family room. Uh, either family room or guest room, one of the two. I'm gonna you know, put it in either room and just kind of see how it goes. But isn't it, isn't it fantastic though? Um, yeah, so this is just a print, this is not a painting. 
It also uh, came fully framed. Look at that. Everything was just like that when I took it out of the box. So I got, I got this from Amazon as well. If you want the links to this, just let me know, put it in the comment and I'll find you the links. Something else that I just got, um, and this is more trailer stuff, but these are hinges. These are five inch hinges right here. Do you know how much these two hinges were? <laughs> $54 for these two hinges. I'm building a, well it's a storage box, but it's also gonna be a place you can sit and I need really good, thick, heavy hinges. These are actually pretty heavy. I was gonna open up this box too and, and show you what was in it and I was thinking, I can't imagine what's in, you know, what I ordered <laughs> as it turned out. I went ahead and opened it up, you know. As it turned out, it's, it's not even to uh, me. I gotta go find this address and put it on her doorstep. She's gonna say, who opened my box? I taped it back, but, because I, op I opened it up and it was like these, um, I don't know what you call them, like little fake flowers and stuff in there. And I was like, I didn't order fake flowers. <laughs> so I gotta go find out who lives at that address or where that address is. I'll probably just um, drive over there with my truck. So that's it. Just wanted to make a quick little video. I've gotten to this habit of trying to make content every day. And apparently people like that because it's like they're joining me. You know what I mean? It's like they're with me as I'm doing my different things in the day. So I'm just getting used to making content every day. And if I go a day or two and I don't make any, then it feels like there's something wrong, you know, like 